Hi, my name is Libby Stevenson. I'm 18 years old. I am a current student at Leeds Beckett University studying marketing management. In this video, I'm going to talk about my personal skills, my interpersonal skills, self development, and knowledge. I hope you enjoy. There is definitely a major difference between studying for A levels and reading for a degree. I feel like this change will take and has taken a fair bit of getting used to already. This is because at secondary school and at college, we are spoon fed information and given so much guidance and support. However, at university this isn't the case, and despite the fact we are given so much information during seminars and lectures, it is then up to you as an individual to go away and read upon that and teach yourself the knowledge. Although I do miss the method of teaching prior to coming to university, I sense this is a much more realistic way of learning and will benefit me much more in the future when I enter the real world of work and a completely independent. During this first semester, I've completed two personal performance sheets evaluating how I work best as an individual and what kind of a person I am. When completing these, I found it incredibly interesting as it gave me the opportunity to actually sit down and evaluate my learning styles, which I hadn't actually done prior to filling out these sheets. The first sheet I completed got me to look at areas such as structure and working with others. After completing this, I feel it has benefited me as it's made my learning more effective due to knowing exactly what methods suit me best. For example, when evaluating structure, I scored a total of 24, portraying I am a structured individual that learns best with less external distractions which I already knew as I find it hard to concentrate when my phone's so by as I get way too distracted. I also wish to keep on top of work and have everything done on time. One way in which I do this is having a diary and making endless amounts of the second personal performance sheet I completed focused mainly on learning styles. This has benefited me massively as it's allowed me to see how I work best as an individual and which learning techniques will help me reach my highest potential. Once I had completed these sheets, I realised that I find it easier and I learn better and take in the information more efficiently once I have personalised the information and made it into posters or spider diagrams or even just colour coded it on my walls and then even at a glance I know exactly what it is. I also found that the learning style that best suits me is the activist learning style. To incorporate this within to my learning I have used the discussion and took full advantage of them that take place in the seminars. I feel it's worthwhile for me as I'm a good team player and enjoy group work as I feel it can benefit individuals a lot more from hearing from other people. Another method for me to look at and evaluate my learning styles was the enterprising new tasks. I completed seven modules which were all based on different learning styles and techniques. For example, module one gave 15 scenarios in which I had to choose out of the options how I as an individual would go about that specific scenario. It gave marks on your answers in which I scored 29. This then said that I had the potential to be a highly enterprising person as I displayed many skills and attitudes, however I lack confidence, which I totally agree with. As all my previous teachers prior to coming up to university I've said that this is one thing that I struggle with and therefore it is one thing that I need to improve to ensure it doesn't drag me down. My ability to interact and communicate well with others has improved massively since I gained a part-time job at the local co-op. This included working on shop floor and on the tills. I think being able to communicate well and effectively is a very important skill to have, especially when at university and finding employment. When I came to university, I did not know what to expect at all from both living away from home and the course. However, so far I've been thoroughly enjoyed my first semester at Leeds Beckett University and have mainly learned to challenge myself as an individual, push myself out of my comfort zone and how to effectively manage my time when it comes to assessment during days. I've also mainly learned to take my education into my own hands. There may be support now, however in the real marketing world there will not be. An aspect I have struggled with mainly during this first semester is retaining the information due to the vast amount of new key information given in lectures. Despite the fact I do and have taken various notes during lectures and seminars, I don't fully understand the information given, therefore I struggle to do the additional reading for the next seminar and the test, hence why my scores in the seminar test hasn't been to my highest potential. However, this is something I'm sure will improve as I get more used to the university layout of work and their standards. One way in which I have analysed my self-development was on module 7 on Enterprising You, creating your own action plan. On this I had to write goals in which I wish to achieve and a date in which I wish to achieve by. This made me sit down and think about what I want to achieve for my life. My main overall goal I achieved out of doing this action plan was that I wish to achieve a degree and hopefully a 2-1. I also wish to go on a placement year during my time at university and hopefully become employed in the marketing world after university.